<laughs> okay, they really did add some power to this. Hey everyone, yet another Tesla software update has been slowly rolling out to the fleet over the last week or so. It's version 2019.36.2.1, and it adds a few new features, but most notably, it includes another power increase for Tesla's cars, and finally provides true one-pedal driving. So you can actually regen all the way to a stop now, rather than regenerative braking cutting out at about five miles an hour and then having to use the friction brakes to complete your stop. That means that I've got two things to test with you guys today. One, how much quicker is the Performance Model 3 as a result of this added power? And two, what is the one-pedal driving mode like? And perhaps how far does it take it to stop from 60 miles an hour? Just because I'm curious. After the last power increase that Tesla sent out via over-the-air update, my Performance Model 3 was able to hit 60 miles an hour from a dead stop in 3.28 seconds, according to the Draggy GPS device. Now, if you factor in one foot rollout, that works out to about 3.11 seconds to 60. So let's see how much better the car will do now. It's in the same configuration, still using the factory MXM4 tires, the aero wheels with the aero covers on, haven't taken anything out of the car, just charged it up and let's go see what it does on a private road. Oof. And there's 60. And let's take a look at the time. Well, the time on that one wasn't too bad came to 3.25 seconds to 60 from a stop, which works out to 3.08 seconds, factoring in one foot rollout. The interesting thing though, is if you look at the peak torque here, let me just, come on, focus, focus. It's up above one G, which it never has been that high before. Well, after a bunch of runs out there and dragging the car down from about 95% state of charge to around 80% state of charge, uh, that initial 3.25 second run was pretty much the best I was able to manage. I did get one that was slightly better, although it, it also clocked at 3.25 seconds, uh, but the one foot rollout time was 3.07, so just slightly faster once one foot rollout was factored in. And the cool thing is that run put me back on top of the draggy rankings for Model 3s. So let's see if we can make this any quicker by adding lightness. 1.4 pounds each. I don't think this piece is strictly necessary. That's 3.8 pounds. I don't think I'm gonna be needing these either. All right, that looks to be about 14 pounds. Charging bundle is 7.9 pounds. And the frunk assembly is 15.3 pounds. That's about 49 pounds removed from the car with 5.6 pounds being unsprung weight in the form of the wheel covers. Let's see what happens. You'll have to bear with me because it's, it's dark now. It took a while for the car to charge back up. But one thing I can say is with all the stuff in the car, like the rear seats and the, uh, the front trunk liner, the car just sounds wild. So let's get the show on the road. All right, first run, we're at 97% state of charge. Let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, the noise. That run was 3.24 seconds to 60 from a stop. And according to Draggy, calculating the one foot rollout brings it to 3.04 seconds. Let's see if we can go a little quicker. Oh, the noise this thing makes is just phenomenal. It's also quite loud. I don't know exactly how many runs I did out there, but according to Draggy, the best I was able to manage was a 3.22 second run to 60 from a stop, which if you factor in one foot rollout is 3.04 seconds. That's pretty good and definitely quicker than my previous time. 
My quickest time prior to the software update was a 3.28 second run to 60 with a one foot rollout time of 3.11 seconds. So as you can see, comparing the two, those two runs here, this update did absolutely make the car a little bit quicker. And to add even more context to that, prior to either of the power increasing software updates going out, the car was running about 3.39 seconds to 60, which works out to about 3.21 when you factor in one foot rollout. On the regenerative braking front, the one pedal driving introduced by this update is neat, but does take some getting used to, especially in reverse when backing down driveways and stuff. Um, but I, I'm just gonna have to experiment with it some more and just kind of feel it out. I think it is definitely a good implementation of uh, one pedal driving, and it is using the motors to regen down to a stop, at which point it waits for a moment, and then you can hear the car applying the friction brakes after you've come to a stop. So it's, it's not simulating uh, regen to a stop by cutting in the friction brakes. So it, it, it's, it is true regenerative braking to a stop, or at least it seems that way. Using regenerative braking to slow from 60 miles an hour to a stop looks like it takes about 615 feet or about 14.6 seconds, according to Draghi. And for a little additional context, if you were to panic brake from a stop, it would take about 129 feet or 3.06 seconds on the MXM4 tires. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the one pedal driving feature that was part of this software update. And as always, I'll see you later.